Hey guys, what's up? It's Vampire Bride. A few weeks ago, I put out a video talking about how my 980 Ti had burnt up. A couple weeks after that, I put out a video saying that I got a 1080 Ti Seahawk, but that my processor was bottlenecking my system, so I couldn't properly get a read on the new 1080 Ti. So for this video, it's time for a complete PC overhaul with a new motherboard, processor, RAM, and of course, the 1080 Ti. Well, that's how this video was supposed to go. It was supposed to be the build video for my newly upgraded PC, but I hit a bit of a glitch. So for this video, I will show the installation of all the new components into my Game DS case, but now I am no longer using this case. As it was shorting out one of the LEDs or the power button, something so simple was causing the whole PC not to boot. Now sure, that could be riveted, but I had been planning on changing out cases soon anyways. This just moved it up the timeline a little bit. Also, the LED lights and fans in the front of the Game DS case were already starting to wear out after only about 9 months of use and would have needed to be replaced. And we were wanting something bigger and hopefully with better airflow. I'm still showing the installation of the components here because it shows how things are supposed to be inserted and can later on show the difference between the pieces being inserted into this case and then into the new case that I will be showing later on. I was also planning on doing a 980 Ti versus 1080 Ti price versus performance and spec difference, but my 980 Ti was already going out causing the computer to blue screen and I changed out multiple components at the same time, so that adds too many variables to be able to accurately compare the two graphics cards. So unfortunately for the time being, that video comparison is off the table but I do still plan on reviewing the 1080 Ti coming up here soon. As well as reviewing my Intel Core i7 8086K processor, showing the deleting process of the processor and reviewing it again. And of course, installing all into the new case and reviewing it with performance and temps. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to these coming videos and hope you will join me on the channel to watch them. Hit that like button if you liked the video and of course subscribe for the videos to come.